We're going to talk about the Maiden, the components. I've also pushed some of these components a little bit further than they're supposed to run. And I want to tell you my overall experience from the Betaflight PID tuning. Actually, I didn't tune anything, but I wanted to tell you how it flies on default PIDs, which is uh, it's a good thing that this could fly default PIDs pretty good. And all of the flight footage that you're going to see towards the end of the video or probably during the video um, is default PID settings. So let's get started with the camera here. So the camera was the Eosheen Bat. This is a really new camera, it's $22. To be honest, I was kind of scared, hoping, I was really hoping it's not gonna be terrible because if it's terrible, then you're basically, you can't really fly that good. And I was actually quite surprised. This is a CCD camera, but the overall image quality and low light conditions was doing really great. And uh, the wide dynamic range was absolutely spectacular. So for camera, it was a really great camera. Motors, these, I didn't know what to expect, to be honest. And uh, the reason why I actually really put them on is because they're the cheapest FPV motors right now. And I kind of forgot how they performed, even though I have them on another quadcopter, but I really wanted to see after all these other quads that I've been flying, how do these still stack up in 2019? Now for a pretty heavy freestyle build, they handled really nicely. They're really smooth, no vibrations. And I even ran a 5S on them and they didn't even come down hot. So that in itself says a lot. They, they were running really great. If you're looking for a speed demon, then you'd probably want to do my previous build, which is with the Diatone MK3 frame. Then that would be in like a hardcore speed build because that's a really light frame. The components used were really light. This one is meant to be just like a freestyle tank that could take abuse and beating and be somewhere in the mid weight class of freestyle. Now, if we talk about the ESC and flight controller, I've gotten a lot of messages. This isn't my first one that I've tested here. So I've used this flight controller or this stack before. And, um, and again, it does not disappoint. Some people were saying the nine volt regulator is really dirty. And then some people were talking, I'm getting beautiful video footage. However, I also do have a low ESR capacitor connected, but I'm getting perfect video feed and the ESC handled its 5S and its 4S perfect. I've had no dips, nothing of that nature. I was able to connect the Bluetooth. I was able to configure it. I, all of them, both of the stacks that I have, I haven't had any issues with. So those could be either rare cases or just some sort of user error. I've had absolutely no hiccups whatsoever. It's been a very simple, straightforward build on both of the stacks that I've used. So this stack is a really great stack in my opinion. And if I do tend to notice any issues to arise, then obviously I'll make the update videos and we'll discuss those and see if there's a possible fix. But so far I've had no issues. Now the VTX here is working really great. It's working just just like any other VTX that broadcasts is 600 milliwatts. Now, a lot of people don't like it because it's cheap. Now, the reason why it got so cheap is because nobody bought it because of its form factor. So this is actually a great deal in my opinion, and it's something really good. So you better pick some up if you're looking for a cheap VTX that is stackable, that has MMCX, smart audio. It's not gonna broadcast at a thousand milliwatts as it's rating, but if it broadcasts at least 600, it'll broadcast at least five to 600. It's more than enough. In, in terms of the VTX, it was working perfect. So I've had absolutely no issues whatsoever, but now let's get into the tune. So the beta flight tune out of the box is good, but you do have some bounce backs and some prop wash oscillations. Now, not oscillations while you're flying. It's not going to be doing anything weird. No, no, it flies perfect, really smooth. Even throughout the throttle range, it'll fly really great. However, when you're flying forward and you turn really fast and you punch it, then you're in this like mixture of dirty air and then the props kind of don't know what to do and then it just goes brrr, but that's a tuning thing so you could tune that out most of my quadcopters have prop wash anyways i never really tune it out it does have a little bit of prop wash but if you don't get in your own dirty bad air then you're not going to have any issues with that and it's not it's not even a big issue you could tune that out in terms of the overall tune now if you do have a pretty long tall battery you will have bounce backs. And this is on the Betaflight, you know, default tune. I'll, I'll tune this one and I'll share my pids with you once I go out again. If you do a hard maneuver, like really quickly and stop, then it'll kind of just like bounce just once back. And you'll get to see that in the footage. I made sure I captured every single thing uh, that the quadcopter did. So you can see its performance, its stopping power, uh, some of the bounce backs, the prop os oscillation, everything you'll get to see in the video. But overall, if you, you know, if you don't understand that stuff, you're still gonna fly and have a great time. And then eventually, what's really nice, it's just those little tiny things that will introduce you into that next gate of tuning if you needed to. But, you know, sometimes I never even tune a quad, I just fly it the way it is and I just learn how to avoid those, just, you know, not turn that fast. And um, But this one I'm actually thinking I might do like a tuning video on. 
which would be pretty interesting because it'd be a very light tuning video. Um, it doesn't have those really nasty problems and there's no oscillations, no hot motors. I think this is one of the best builds I've done in terms of pit tuning. I mean, in terms of just, you know, default working out of the box really nicely. And uh, I'd highly recommend for anyone. Don't forget the center of gravity here is also pretty great. Um, I didn't try to fly it without the GoPro. It'd probably even fly better, but I had to obviously record for you guys. So I'm going to leave you guys with the FPV footage and the HD footage so you guys can check it out for yourself with no music. So you can hear how everything is handling. You can hear the motors and you can see the overall everything. There was no stabilization done or anything. It's unedited. So you can actually see its raw performance. And again, everything is linked down below. And I'd highly recommend this build for anybody starting out. It's a really great build. And uh, all you need to do is just upgrade the motors. And you could even make it into a 6S. Uh, this isn't even a budget build, to be honest. This is a premium build here. So overall, this is a really great layout for any quadcopter you're planning on building in terms of price, performance, and the components. And again, you could always change out the motors. I just wanted to see how the cheapest FPV motors in the market actually perform. And uh, they perform pretty good. It's just, a, it's, it's not unpredictable. The, the power is very um, predictable all the way through the throttle range. Uh, some high KV will give you the power towards the end. This one is just, it's all over the place. Like it's just pretty mellow, uh, nothing too crazy, very smooth and very enjoyable. I mean, you could really enjoy these, but again, if you're looking for a speed demon, then you're gonna look to, then you might wanna look into a racing frame and um, something a lot lighter than this. But this is a really nice cinematic freestyle type frame build. Uh, which is really great to get you up and going and uh, well, that's it guys I'll leave you guys the footage and everything is linked down below if you could check those out those greatly support the channel Come join my patreon. I have a lot of giveaways and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out guys